it's you and your opponent. That's where you have to be mentally switched on and black out everything really. At the end of the day it comes down to you and him. Nobody else can help you, nobody else can help him. This is Kirkdale really, this is where we were brought up and this is where we lived before we moved up to where, where my mum lives now, you know, this was where the house was. The school was 200 yards the other way, the, the gym was 100 yards behind us, so that was our livelihood going up. When I first started the Rotunda, you know, I started having fights quicker than I thought and I had my first seven fights in the first year. I won seven, then I lost my eighth fight, which is my first loss. I started believing I was good enough, then I started going far in championships and you know I won the junior ABA championships. I got picked to fight for England, which was another unbelievable achievement. And that's when it kind of sunk in that, you know what, you're all right at boxing and you know, for me to be picked as an amateur boxer to represent my country was, was unbelievable and that's where the penny finally dropped. Again, I followed my brothers to George and Danny Vaughan. I, I was pro with them for three years, so you know, they taught me the basics of the pro game and then I moved to Joe and you know, we become business champion and world champion. Everyone who I've named there, the Rotunda, George and Danny Vaughan and Joe Gallagher all had a part to play in that. Now I watched me, me two brothers fall short of their world titles. I watched Paul become very, very close to his, which he maybe should have got. Stephen lost his attempt, so we were very close. We were in touch and distance of a world title. For myself, to be the first out of the brothers was a little bit selfishly pleasing, but for the family to get it was was an unbelievable achievement. I mean, mum and dad had a massive part to play, especially with me. I think you know, I was a bit of a tear away as a kid, and you know, if you ask her why why we moved house, they say it was because of me. Cup of tea. I want cup of tea. Now and look what happens. How good is that? My motivation comes from obviously my family. You know, I want to put my mind to something. Then you, you, you've got me full attention, and you know, the game and the sport we're in is a dangerous one to be in. So I think it needs your full attention, and you have to be motivated. The minute I lose the motivation for boxing, is the minute I'll you know, hang the gloves up and say I'm I'm done. Mental strength is massive, especially in boxing. You know, we, we, we go in there and have a bad fight, we're getting hurt or we're losing. You know, it's a 12-round fight, you don't have to panic if you lose the first two, three rounds and you need to be mentally tough yourself. Training's not easy. You know, when it gets hard in training, when you feel tired, you know, you've never felt tiredness than you have in 11 or 12 rounds of a fight. So, you know, tiredness in the gym, it's just a feeling really. You know, you have to be mentally strong to get through that. As a boxer, you need that little bit of everything. Because if you're lacking heart, then you're not going to dig in as much as the other fighter. Black on your technique and you know your, your ability. If you don't try and work on that, then you know good fighters will exploit that. And you've got to have a fine balance in everything. I think the the one thing you're not so good at will be exploited massively in the pro game. You know, there's a lot of strategy involved. It, it is so technical, and people will exploit your weaknesses. To finally become world champion and to give Liverpool a world title, what they've been chasing for so long, you know, the first coaxer to win a world title in 22 years. You know, I got all the, the praise and I got all the rewards and, you know, it was nice to read, it was nice to accept, but, 
you know, it was baffling because of so many good fighters Liverpool have produced, and we won't be the last. There'll be more Liverpool fighters to become world champion in the next couple of years. So I think it's that's a revival for Liverpool. My fan base has been brilliant ever since I was an amateur. I've got the same group of friends who have followed me since the, the ABAs, who still be at every single fight I've had, you know. And obviously, the fan base has got bigger and bigger as the professional game's gone on, and, you know, I'm forever in debt to them. And, my good nights is their good nights, and I hope that they're happy with that. Walking into the ring, it's you and your opponent. That's where you have to be mentally switched on and black out everything, really. You know, at the end of the day, it comes down to you and him. I think you can never be that finished article in boxing, and I don't think, you know, any fighter or any trainer will tell you they don't stop learning. I'm Liam Smith, boxer from Liverpool.